Hello everybody. This is Steven. I'm going to bring you a video today about some inexpensive miniatures for your D&D game. Some of you guys might recognize these miniatures and where they come from. Some of you probably will not. I will show you where they came from here in a minute, but let's show you the miniatures first. So in the box set, you get four different poses of human that would easily work for town guard. And here are each one of those poses. As you can see, they're really good quality, really good miniatures. But you get four of each. So I'll pan back a little bit here. There are the rest of them. So it's 16 town guard. You also get four of the same style on horseback. So this is your mounted, it could be your officers, could be just your um, scouting party or things like that. You also get a golem. This guy comes with four arms. The lower two arms, you can actually easily leave those two off. And I almost did for this build, but I decided it. I liked it with the four arms. If I get another box set, I will leave the other arms off that one. So then it's just a two arm golem instead of a four. But a really nice golem. I'm really going to enjoy painting that one. So that's for your one faction because it comes with two. This hero could easily be a ranger, a fighter. Um, it could even be a sorcerer if you wanted. Not in love with this model, but it's here. I'll probably paint it up eventually. You also get skeletons. You get 16 skeletons with hand weapons and shield. Here are the first four I've painted up. And you see the other ones here are waiting to be painted today. That's my project to finish those guys up. You get an undead lord. And you also get eight undead archers or skeleton archers. So you get 24 skeletons plus a hero for them or villain. So in total, 25 undead. You get four, excuse me, yeah, four horsemen, 16 infantry, town guard infantry, a golem, a hero. Now there's another mounted skeleton that I have not have out. I'm not in love with the model and I have not built it yet. I'm not sure I'm going to. But that's a lot of infantry. Uh, I'm not sure in a game you'd ever need more than 24 skeletons and probably aren't going to need 16 town guard at one time either. But it's a great little addition. These miniatures paint up very well. They are a soft plastic, but they paint well, they hold the paint well, and they're just a joy to paint. Actually, when I painted up these four skeletons, as you can see, let's turn a couple of these around a little bit. Very dynamic poses. They're really, really nice miniatures to paint. So let me show you what these guys come from. This is the game Rune Wars. So for that box set, which is the core set, you're looking at, I paid $35, but I looked on Amazon earlier. And it's actually $32 with free shipping. So for $32, you're getting quite a few miniatures. Let's pan back over to the miniatures. Okay, so if you go by Amazon's prices today, it's $32 for over 40 miniatures. That's less than a dollar miniature. That's a really, really good price for, for miniatures. And these guys are really, really good quality. I'll pan back a little bit so you can see all of them at one time. Now the guys over here did not come with that. They're part of another video I'm going to be making for you guys. I'm building those now. It's another set of inexpensive miniatures for D&D to get started. And you have to kind of ignore the clutter on my desk. Like most of us, it is a working, a working desk. So I have my paints out that I use, my brushes, and then just other stuff that I had me working on. So, in a nutshell, for $32, you get 40 guys that are good quality, 
really good miniatures for any D&D game. We can all use Town Guard and Skeletons are always a plus. Now once these guys are painted, I will make another video to show you how they look like when they're done. And I will post that. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if any comments, please list them below as well. You have a great day. See you.